Hello pumpkin people, Sam here, Giant Pumpkins NZ. How's it going? Obviously we're in spring now, one minute it's raining and the next minute it's fine. The weather is all over the place at the moment. But what that means is it's almost time to start growing giant pumpkins and the countdown is on. Really looking forward to getting this season underway, the 2020 giant pumpkin growing season. A few things, the tiny patch is still covered with the black polythene that's going to kill all the weeds. Uh, so I need to start looking at some prep for that. And the rest of the patch outside is just covered in mint. Terrible, terrible mint. Don't know why anybody wants to grow that, but uh, at least it smells good, I guess. A couple things, the forum is up and running on the website. Please check that out. Uh, you can see it in the main menu or on the front page of the website. Um, join up and just share your story and uh, come say hi. And if you have any questions, you can just post it right in there and uh, I'm sure some of the members on there will answer your question. Looking forward to seeing that grow over time and uh, having more of the community involved there. It's great to see all the people uh, that are talking about running their own little giant pumpkin events, uh, either amongst themselves, in their family, or their small community, or workplace. Good stuff. Uh, love it. There's more stuff up on the giant pumpkin store as well, and uh, by the time you see this video, the mill fabric will be on there as well. So if you want some mill fabric for your underneath your pumpkin, um, please check that out. Now, uh, there's, it says there's none in stock, but uh, just get hold of me because I need to work out the shipping if I need to send it to you. It's quite big and bulky, so that's the thing. In the latest blog update, where this video will sit as well, I talk about potentially growing in a new area this year. Um, if you remember Dennis, he's been in a couple of the videos. Well, he uh, graciously uh, offered me to grow at his house. Now, there's a lot of benefits for that and uh, there's also some negatives so I go over that in the blog post so you're gonna have to read that to find out just exactly where I am gonna grow this year. I think that's about it so make sure that you are checking out where you can grow, what items you need, make sure you've got giant pumpkin seeds, get your friends and family involved and uh, we'll get those seeds started about middle of October and uh, until next time I'm Sam, check out the website, thanks.